Hello everyone, this is the Jing Pad and it's here on my left and it looks pretty cool as a device, I've done videos about it, but what about KD apps? So if you are on Jing OS, of course you can install many apps that are done by KD, but I use it with Android because to be honest, it's the only way right now, as far as I could tell, for it to actually work really nicely as a tablet. So with Android on it, what KD apps can I actually install on it? And one of the answers is, well, all of Maui apps for starters. And today I want to show you how those apps actually work in practice. So if you go inside of the Maui channel on Telegram, you can find all of the APKs to actually install this. And they are seven. The first one is called index and it's a file management app and you've got the overview which on this tablet doesn't contain many files but still shows you some pictures and some recent um, downloads that I have. You also get st uh, stuff like tags in here, favorites and uh, let's actually try to browse the file system like screenshots and you can actually see that in here I've got all of my screenshots and I do get a preview if I'm clicking on it even without opening another app which is pretty cool usually if you click on them you get redirected to the um, photo um, app I can actually open them here at the bottom I can favorite this so let's try out if this works by then searching for, for favorites here let's close this this and I do get this one I can share this through the native dialogue, which is super cool. It integrates very well into Android. And in theory, pressing somewhere, ah, I get also all of the nice information about this, which is pretty cool. In theory, I should also be able to edit this somehow, but if it's not here, it's in the uh, picture application that we'll get to later on. We can filter by music, downloads, and so on. These are my downloads as an example. In here, just pressing on a PDF will actually preview the PDF. It's a bit like, oh, yeah, it, it, it even has pages. I didn't know that. Pretty cool. So it does work as a final management. Let's try to move some files. Maybe, mm, whoops, not this one because I actually need that one. But if I I can select this, I can do select and select more than one very easily and then I have as an example this which I guess is cut I don't know let's move somewhere else I don't know here and I can paste should be doing something I guess and it's not doing anything however it's still pretty cool that you do have this bottom uh, or relation sheet with all of the things that you can do with that file I think that's pretty cool and you get rename and all of uh, the stuff that you would be looking for. Next one is Buho, which is about nodes. So let's try to create a new node. And in here we've got accounts. On the right we've got nodes. We can create a new node, just like hello. We can also fave this one, which is nice. We can share it. So it's pretty consistent, I have to say. There is find and replace, although it's hidden. Okay, hello, this, let's see if it works. It does work, it selected the right thing, which is nice. And we can select whether we want to be case sensitive or all words only. And that's about it, we get undo, redo, but not much else, it's rather simple. Next one is clip for videos. Let's open up a video. I do have videos on this uh, device. They are under... Okay, this is the first one I, I found, which is some meme that was sent to me via Telegram. So I don't know where, but thank you, I guess. You got the video actually playing. You can select full screen. You can skip to the next and previous one if you selected more than one. And you can get back to the collection while skipping. And this is pretty cool the video playing around and you can click on it to get back to it. I think that's pretty cool. Next one, which is Nota, which is more of a simple text editor. And uh, I mean, it does text editing. 
it's very simple again we are on android so i don't know what you would expect uh, expect sorry out of this you've got shortcuts if you've got a keyboard and the jinkpad does have a keyboard so that's pretty useful you even get a terminal split view which is pretty cool and uh, closing and opening tabs that sort of things we can uh, do actions on the file itself by, by pressing on the name of the file at the bottom we can sh uh, save it save it as and also share it as usual we can also go to line which is a super useful feature however again the keyboard hides the cons we can create new files um, just like this and in here at the top we've got all of the files that we have open like this pretty cool next one shelf which is about pdfs which i have plenty of given that i use this tablet to study so in here we've got the pdf with the pages what options do we get we can favorite the document of course but we can also doodle on the document this will open a different uh, view and we have some options let's quickly go through them highlighter marker another highlighter the eraser which doesn't actually erase okay we can select the color or i guess we should be able to select the color but doesn't did it select something oh yeah it does actually work okay the opacity if i want oh come on look at the the number <laughs> there's no need to be that precise when selecting opacity and the size of this just like this pretty useful nice we can also browse horizontally make it fill the width full screen and uh, did i lose the document okay do not fill because that apparently kills the document but browse horizontally kills it as well apparently a sane amount of bugs is like necessary to do this kind of videos like running maui apps on android some bugs has got to be somewhere then there is wave which is actually pronounced wave even though it's like v -v wave and uh, unluckily i didn't found a good um, mp3 mp3 tracks to actually test this on but you still can see the interface and you can actually try this out on desktop as well we've got the albums the artists but we can also browse uh, depending on the folders which is pretty cool and finally we have pics for images which in this case is just a bunch of screenshots, I guess. Indeed, let's pick a screenshot. Oh, actually this one is the wallpaper. I love the wallpaper. We can add tags here at the bottom, or I should say we should be able to add the tags, uh, except it doesn't do anything when I click on it. And we can do it all in a similar way. We can crop, crop like this. And apparently <laughs> I can go even beyond the, the file margins pretty cool okay stop it stop it okay we, we we cropped it we can rotate this with a pretty nice ui i gotta say i like this kind of ui it's actually showing you the angles but also a shortcut for 90 degrees nice we can change the colors in theory i remember that this didn't actually work for me as you can see and also layers i don't know what's that it has nothing so let's undo everything we can also filter by tags also search folders this view is pretty cool actually it does work pretty well so these were maui apps on an android device it's an interesting concept because you do actually get the same apps on the computer as well so you can just take them and it's perfect convergency still you can see that I mean, there are some details that needs to be fixed, but you know, that's what you expect from something that's built almost from scratch. So Maui is actually built on Maui Kit, which is built on top of Kurigami. So Kurigami is uh, uh, the pre-existing KD product made to create apps. Maui Kit is made specifically for this kind of convergent apps with this design and it's built on top of Kurigami. And then we've got all of these Maui apps that work on a tablet, on a smartphone, but also on the computer. So if you want to try them out, you can do that either via APKs on Android, but also on your operating system, I guess, whatever that one is.